the first thing I look at is just uh, the average power for the, um, for the training, because that gives me the first impression of, of how hard the training was. Then I look if, uh, if there are intervals, so did the rider do intervals or not. Then I check the, the average powers of these intervals. And also I look at uh, cadence, speed, heart rate. So all these uh, other data that gives me more insight uh, and more uh, knowledge of the power that was uh, produced. Left and right I also look at, and that's, that's uh, in fact an analysis what, that takes some more time and also take really an in-depth look. Um, but I try to look at it uh, as much as possible. When we do intervals, uh, we, we compare them to, to earlier intervals, uh, the adapted power, normalized power uh, after every stage, um, peak powers uh, of, of every training and, and every race, uh, the relation between uh, the heart rate and the power. So I will look to the, to the overall picture and, uh, and it gives me uh, very important uh, information. And, and of course, uh, don't forget uh, to mention the difference uh, between left and right, or better, not, uh, not to have uh, the difference. Of course, you can ride every day the same track and see if you do it every, every day faster, but uh, uh, then you have to go always uh, full gas. And uh, now with, uh, with a power meter like, like Pioneer, you can just go out every day, train, analyze your data and see uh, if you're improving, yes or no, do you need rest? Uh, or you have to train harder, or you have to train smarter, but I think it, it makes it more interesting and more fun uh, also for uh, just uh, tourists uh, to, to train with a power meter. First thing I look at is um, my left right, see how that was doing. Um, the other thing that's been really good is my pedal efficiency. Um, not so much in just long rides or whatever, but more in, in really stressful efforts or when I'm getting tired, like I notice under low cadence, my pedal efficiency has been really good, but it goes quite sloppy when I'm when I'm trying to uh, scramble in a crosswind or something like that. My average power of the training, the duration, and, uh, and most of the time the the altitude meters. Uh, I like to see, like to see what I did, and uh, especially when I'm training in Spain, uh, I go uh, on the headache course, and I want to see uh, how much elevation I did. When you can compare the, the training data and they see from this M1 till, till now to the races, uh, yeah, your improvement uh, is going up like this in the line. So uh, that's the goal of uh, all the training. And uh, yeah, luckily uh, we succeeded in that. So uh, now we can improve some more with the time trial bikes and just the bikes and the precision itself so, uh, to gain some extra seconds.